Welcome everyone to the Electric Coaches channel. Today we're still soaking bases. And the base that you see in this jar has been soaking in brake fluid since July 4th. I intend to allow this base to soak in this brake fluid well into August. But we're not going to work with that base today. So we're going to put the cap on this jar. And uh, we're going to move on to something else. To the right of your screen, I have another jar of bases. These bases are soaking in paint remover epoxy. What's different with this epoxy than the brake fluid is, one, it's stronger. And it has a paste-like consistency. Along with that, there are odors. There's an odor that comes off of it. There's slight vapors. So we're not going to keep the top of this jar off too long. We're going to rinse off this base. And we're going to run test it and resist test it against the other boil bases that we had done in the previous video. I've now rinsed off the base and it's sitting right here. We're now going to weigh it compared to the base that's on Marquis Pouncy. Now let's take inventory of what we've done so far. The base on Marquis Pouncy was boiled in water, baby oil, and mineral oil only. Nothing else. It's been tweaked also. This base is one of the older boil bases that you have seen in the last boiling video, the last soaking video. This base was boiled years ago in water, mineral oil, baby oil. For six days, this base was soaked in the paint remover epoxy. So, let's take the Marquis Pouncy base and set it on the scale and see what kind of reading we get. We get 1.3 grams in weight. Okay, let's put this base back. I'm going to keep track of that base. Now we're going to weigh the base that we soaked in the paint remover epoxy. That base comes in at 1.4 grams. And from the looks of it, you can't, I don't think you could tell on the camera. Let's move the uh, scale over here. I'm going to set these bases side by side. From the looks of it, I don't think you can tell if there's any swelling. But yes, this base, this base did swell. A little from soaking for six days and I'm going to show you with the uh, measurement using the caliper okay I have my caliper out I'm going to measure the change in the thickness of this base you see here on the right but first we're going to get the vitals off of the Marquis Pouncy base okay what we're going to do we're going to measure the length of the base open our caliper close it and we have a reading of 28.19 in length we're going to measure the thickness of the base I want to measure the back beyond the the dial itself and we have 17.48 millimeters in thickness Okay, now we're going to get the base that we soaked in epoxy. We're going to zero this out. We're going to open it up. And we have a reading of 28.72, which is a little bit longer than the base on Marquis Pouncy. So yes, there's, there has been an increase in length. There has been some swelling. 
So then we're going to go to the back of the, the rear of the base, not on the dial. Okay. And we have 17.47 millimeters. Not too bad, but there has been some increase in size. Let's see if we can get a height measurement here. That's uh, 6.14 millimeters. Let's grab the Marquis Pouncy base. See if we got a change. Even in height. Marquis Pouncy's base in height from the bottom to the top is 5.94 millimeters. So just from soaking the base, this base right here, we soak this base in epoxy paint remover. This base has slightly increased in size as, as well as weight. So we're going to move on and we're going to do our run and resistance tests. We're all set now for the Marquise Pouncy figure to match up against our newly uh, soaked base. And the figure that I mounted that base on was the Nadama Kinsu figure, the Detroit Lion defensive tackle. So we're going to move Nadama Kinsu over to the middle of the field and get him set to match up. I didn't want to use my sled because I didn't want to use my uh, my uh, my blocking pits for this test. I want to see just raw performance on an open table. Let's see what happens. Looks like the Dominican Sue won that pushing battle. Let's turn him around. Let's see what we get. Okay. Didn't look good there. Uh, the prongs on this base, they've already been tweaked, but I still can do some other things to them. And the uh, prongs on the Marquise Pouncy base have been tweaked also. There's still work, more work that I can do. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go and get Ole Nada. Remember, Ole Nada's, Ole Nada's base was also boiled in water, mineral oil, baby oil. But his, boy, his base was soaked in DOT-5 brake fluid. So let's see what kind of differences we get here. Okay, it appears not the uh, Nadama Kinsu figure in base is winning the battle. Let's see, let's turn them around. Getting the same outcome, all right? Still got some more guys. Now we're going to bring in our no-name guy. Remember this guy, his base was boy, his base was uh soaked in dot three four brake fluid. So we're gonna bring him in, match him up against the Dominican suit. See what we get. Appears the dot three four brake fluid base held his ground a little bit better. Okay, it gave up a little bit, then it looked like it, it looked like it wanted to come back. Let's try it again. Okay. One more time. The other way. Hmm. It's that three four brake fluid base is kind of sometimey. Sometimes the base wants to grab and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's bring in Max Unger. This Max Unger base. I believe this base was a first run base. 
there's a story to the first run basis. They are the rarest basis in the hobby. These first run bases were made a long time ago back in the, uh, I believe it was the early 70s, maybe late 60s. And I happened to be lucky to have one. The plastic on those first run bases was uh, the best plastic ever. It's softer. It grabs the board really well. Let's see what Max Unger does. Okay, Max Unger held his ground. Okay. Let's go. Max Unger is not getting pushed around. <laughs> okay, let's... um. We're going to do some other tests. We're going to uh, use our pliers a little bit and see if we can get uh, Marquis Pound C and Ole Nada and our no-name guy to perform better against uh, the, the Dominican Sioux figure here. I deliberately let the base that's on the Dominican Sioux figure set overnight because I want to test this base again to see if there's any change with it. I'm going to set this base on the scale that you see to the left and we're going to weigh it just as we did before and we're also going to use the caliper to test the dimensions of the figure. We're also going to do another resistance test against the other boiled bases that we have. We are now ready to weigh the base that we have on the Nadamakun Sioux figure. Remember, this base was boiled in water, oil, mineral oil, and it was uh, soaked for six days in the paint remover epoxy. And just yesterday, the base weighed in at 1.4 grams. Let's see what the base weighs now. The base has lost weight it went back down to 1.3 okay I'm going to weigh the uh, Marquis Pouncy base again I'm going to bring that figure in I'm going to set it down it's also 1.3 so just from letting this base set overnight this is the epoxy base The weight that we once had, 1.4, we lost that. We lost it. It went down to 1.3. So, okay, we're going to get the caliper, and we're going to measure its length and width. I now have my caliper. I'm going to measure the Nadamakan Sioux base again. I'm going to measure the length of the base. And we have a reading of... 28.03 in length and just yesterday we had a, a reading of 28.72 so there was some shrinkage there so then we're going to go to the rear of the base Let's zero it out make sure we got a accurate reading here I'm going to measure the width and that comes in at 17.29. Yesterday it measured in at 17.46. Okay. Let's uh, get a height measurement. Zero it out again. Uh, let's see. Have a height measurement. Of 6.02. Uh, yesterday, the height measurement came in at about 6. Point, 6.14. So there was some shrinkage there as well. Okay, so let's move on to the resistance test. And by the way, the Marquis Pouncy base, of course, has not changed any. 
since it's been sitting for for the past week or so. We're now ready to run a new resistance test uh, with the uh, Adamica and Sue figure. And we're going to match him up against the Marquise Pouncey figure. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, there was a fight for the line of scrimmage there. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like the Marquis Pouncey figure lost the other way. So let's uh, look at the prongs. <clears throat> I take these front prongs and move them up a little bit. Still going to put the pliers on these uh, on these figures, especially the Marquis Pouncey figure. See what happens here. Okay. Dom Kinsu won the battle that way. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's uh, do the same thing with the Marquis Pouncey figure. I'm going to move those prongs up a bit with our finger. And while I got it, let me get my pliers. I want to put a crimp on these back prongs right here. I don't want to squeeze them. just want to drag them and curl them a little bit. To this part, the video doesn't do it justice when I curl the prongs. It's something that you have to practice. See, you see the rear prongs there. Put a slight curl on them a little bit. Okay. Let's run it again and see what we get. Uh-oh. There we go. That's what the Marquise Pouncey base needed. Need a little bit of curl in the back. Let's see what happens now. Okay. This fight's getting interesting. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing to the, uh, the Dominican Sioux base. Let's put a little curl on these rear prongs. Trying to get all that we can out of these bases. You know, get a little tweaking in. And uh, measure the differences among various types of boil bases, what have you. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's a slight battle now for the line of scrimmage. Okay, let's go again. Okay, so that way, on this side of the motor... And the Dominican Sioux base wins the battle going that way. Alright. Let me get uh let me go ahead and get the Max Unger figure. Remember earlier I said that this base is uh is an older base. This base wasn't boiled. This is I believe it's a first run base. Uh, so, but this base has proven that it's uh, it's worthy to start for me. So we're gonna put this base back on the table against the Dominican Sioux, who's on the boil base. See what happens. Okay, the Dominican Sioux fought a little bit better this time with that slight tweak that we did to the back prongs on this base. Let's turn it around. Still, there's really no match for the uh, Max Unger figure. Okay, let's bring in the no-name guy. Remember, this guy, his base was was soaked in the uh, DOT 3-4 brake fluid. <coughs> let's go ahead and run him. And again, this base, like this Nadamakun Sioux base, these bases came from that pile of older boil bases that you had seen earlier in the previous video. Let's see what happens between these two. Okay. Not bad. Still not much dominance. See, I don't want to use my uh my blocking pit because these bases are boiled 
when they touch the sides of this, the bases get hung up. Those boiled bases have a, uh, a tacky feel on the body of the base. So they get hung up sometimes when they slide across the edge of these uh, this blocking pit right here. And by the way, this blocking pit is uh, little uh, strips of magnets. It's got like a tacky back to it. You can lay it down like so and create a, sort, a short lane. We're not going to use those right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and get back to this drill here. Really not much difference. It's not much to be alarmed about. All right. Let's see. Let's put our uh, pliers on the back prongs of this base. Give these prongs a slight curl. Okay. So I can turn the base this way. See if I can get capture that in the camera. If you look at those back prongs there. You see that slight curl. <clears throat> Let's straighten up our dial. Keep the uh, base going somewhat straight. After all, these guys are linemen, so we don't really need them to go 100 yards down the table. And look at that. So by putting that curl on the back on those back prongs, it changed the performance of this base dramatically. In fact, it gave that base a little bit more push going this way. <clears throat> See, this side of the motor is the strong side over here. We have the motor. I have a motor right here at the 15-yard line. And uh, this motor, by the way, it came off of a uh, traditional electric football set. I basically cut sheet metal from around, around that motor. I digress for a moment. But just to give you a little background of of what's going on with the motor on the underside of this board. I cut those motors off of an original electric football board. Um, and I used a little bit of caulk. And I uh, adhered the motor on the underside of this board. I have three motors here. One at each 15-yard line and the other upfield at, at the 50. Let's run again. Wow. Okay. So it appears after letting this base sit and doing some tweaks, this base on the uh, or this base on the Nadamika Sioux figure has changed a little bit. Wow, he's losing the battle. I now have brought out my Oyinata figure. I'm going to match him up against the. The Dominican suit figure. Let's see what we get. Okay. Not bad. Let's turn them around. Okay. That way, the only not a figure lost the battle. Well, let's put some tweaks on this, uh, on this base. I've already crimped. I've already uh, curled the back prongs on this, on this base. I want to focus a little bit on these uh, front prongs because what I've noticed about these boiled bases is that with the front prongs, you want the tips of those prongs to make contact with the board. You don't want the, the face of the, uh, the prong, of the front of the prong, to lay down on the board because that will cause more drag and it will reduce the performance of the base in regards to resistance and speed. So I want to turn this base over like this. And the same technique that I used on those back prongs when I curl them, I want to do the same technique. I want to do the same thing on those front prongs, but I don't want the curl to be too much. Okay? So I'm going to run my pliers over the front prongs in an effort to get the tip 
of the prong to make contact with the board. Let's see what type of performance we get now. Oh, okay. I think I made the bass a little bit weaker. Okay, so let me push the prongs down slightly. See what I get. Mm, not good at all. Okay, I probably may have put too much curl on it. Let's see if we can bring the prong back down some. See, that's the thing with bass tweaking. A lot of it is trial and error. Keep trying the bass and you keep trying it until you get those prongs set the way you want them. <clears throat> See what we get. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit more resistance. Okay, let's go this way. Still losing the other way. Okay. Just a little touch. Just want to keep playing with these front prongs. I'm going to go ahead and keep them this way. Since that was the weak side for him, I'm going to keep them there and see, we can, see what we can get. There we go. You see there how he fought a little bit? So this bass is showing us promise. Still more work to do. Okay, let's do a recap. We have four bases that all have been boiled. These bases have been boiled for five minutes in water, baby oil, and mineral oil. Now, what makes these bases different is that they have been soaked in different chemicals, except the Marquis Pouncy figure. The Olinata figure has been soaked in dye 5 brake fluid. The Nadama Kinsu figure has been soaked in paint remover epoxy. And our no-name figure has been, has been soaked in dot 3 4 brake fluid. From this small test, two weeks to be exact, what I have discovered among these bases is that there is no major difference in regards to performance. What sets these bases apart is the different tweaks that I put on them. And that is what's going to set you apart in your electric football experience. So this goes back to the last video that was done, Prepare to Play. The tweak that you put on each figure on your team is what's going to make the difference between being competitive and not winning games. Now, with these boiled bases, there, there are other boiling techniques that we can use. As I said before, these bases will boil for five minutes. We can boil these bases anywhere as far as an hour. We can soak these bases as, as long as a month, two months. Will it make a difference? Don't know. So I'll, I'll leave it up to you to determine what's best for your electric football team. To boil or not to boil. To soak or not to soak. How long to boil. How long to soak. I'm Mo. Thanks for watching. <laughs> hey, where you at? He right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs>